Hi, it's Alaska Granny. It may still be winter, but the sun is coming back and it's the time when we start having winter festivals. For example, in Anchorage, we've been celebrating the Fur Rendezvous, or Fur Rondi we sometimes call it, and the Iditarod is coming up. So perhaps you have some of those events happening where you are. So it's a great time to think about making a big old pot of beans. Have you ever made calico beans? Calico beans is just a hodgepodge of any kind of mixed beans. Adding different colors is what makes them calico. You might have some white beans, some black beans, pinto beans, lima beans. You can use just about any kind of beans you want. I have a few cans of beans in my food storage stockpile prepper pantry that I need to rotate. So today I'm going to make a very simple calico beans. Let me show you this simple recipe and remember it's not the particular type of beans that you use. Any kind of beans will do, so find ones that perhaps you need to rotate. So today I'm using one can of a three bean mixture, one can of kidney beans, and one can of baked beans. This is great if you have fresh bacon, but if you don't, maybe you have some bacon bits or bacon pieces in your freezer or they're dehydrated. You can use a half a cup of chopped onion or reach into your pantry and get some dried onion. Along with that, you're going to make a nice sauce with ketchup, mustard, white vinegar, and brown sugar. You want to open all the canned up beans, but I don't drain them. Now everything just gets dumped into a nice big oven safe bowl that I have. Any kind of a casserole dish will work great with this. So I'm going to add the tri-bean blend, the kidney beans, the baked beans, a half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of ketchup, four tablespoons of bacon bits, two tablespoons of dried onion, and a tablespoon each of yellow mustard and white vinegar. Then I'm going to stir it well to mix it and pop it in a 350 degree oven for about an hour. Yummy, how delicious does that look? It's all bubbly on top. Because this bowl was rather deep, I actually ended up cooking it about an hour and a half. But if the your casserole dish uh, spreads it out more evenly, it, you probably only need to bake it about one hour. When your beans are done, they might be delicious, served with some chopped jalapenos, maybe some chopped fresh onion. How about some grated cheese or even a dollop of sour cream or Greek yogurt? They don't need anything on top. They're fine just the way they are. A variation of calico beans is to make cowboy beans and you would add in some cooked ground beef. You can also cook this just about any way. If you're out camping, you can simmer it all together on top of a stove for about 20 minutes. You can bake it in the oven for an hour. You can even dump it all into your crock pot and cook it four hours on high or eight hours on low. Cooking beans is so simple and having canned beans to use is really fantastic. This is also great if you want to make it out of your dried beans. There's just a few um, measurement conversions that you want to be aware of. A half a cup of dry beans equals a 15 ounce can of beans. One and a half cups of cooked beans also equals a 15 ounce can. If you cook one pound of beans, that's equal to approximately three cans of beans. One and a half pounds of dried beans would be equal to 108 ounce or the number 10 can of cooked and already prepared beans that institutional size cans that you see that go to schools and cafeterias. And sometimes in Walmart, I've seen they have an aisle of the gigantic size cans of already prepared food. So if you're cooking for a huge crowd, that might be something that you wanted to know. If you have tips on how you make calico beans or some other recipe so that you're rotating the beans you have in your food storage stockpile, leave it in the comments below so we can learn from each other. The more ways we know how to use the foods in our food storage stockpile, the more satisfied we're going to be when we're preparing meals for our family. And remember, your prepper pantry is a working pantry. You need to be using some of those foods, rotating and replacing them so that the foods you have are always as fresh as possible and you'll have food going forward for as long as possible. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.